Let's take a look at where we've been this week on Find Yourself In TV. I'm Peter Foster uh, and I'm the President and CEO of Aristana. Well, Aristana is uh, the national airline of Kazakhstan, but it's not only uh, the national airline of Kazakhstan, it is the leading airline um, in the Central Asian and Caucasus region. Um, we're quite a young airline with just 13 years old, uh, but we fly to 64 cities uh, around the world um, including most of uh, the major airports in, uh, in Europe, uh, in Southeast Asia, uh, India, Russia, China, as well as this region, the Central Asian and Caucasus region. The vision of the founders, who was the president of the country, uh, and Sir Richard Evans, who at that time was the chairman of BE Systems, had a very clear vision, which was that the airline would be run uh, along the best possible lines of an international airline concentrating on commercial viability and operational reliability and service excellence. Well, you know, Kazakhstan, of course, um, was part of what used to be uh, Soviet Central Asia. Um, and of course, you know, for the best part of a hundred years, really, this was an entire vast region that was off limits um, to, uh, to foreigners. So it really was um, uh, a sort of a mystery, really, uh, when it opened in 1991, when the Soviet Union collapsed, um, it suddenly threw open the gates on what I think had become um, a very unknown and mysterious region. Um, and, you know, mystery is always an attractive proposition, is it not, particularly to uh, uh, the sort of more intrepid travellers um, who are reading publications such as your own, for example, um, uh, and uh, watching this programme. But I think um, you've also got to look at it in a historical context. I mean. You know, Kazakhstan was uh, one of the principal components of the old Silk Road. So, you know, the Silk Road, of course, obviously, you know, predates uh, the Soviet Union by many, many hundreds of years. Um, and it has left behind an incredible um, historical legacy, um, which can be visited to this day. Um, uh, that heritage is still available and can be visited to this day. Um, so it's fascinating for archaeologists and historians. Um, and uh, finally, of course, it's extremely physically beautiful. It has, uh, you know, magnificent mountains, uh, the great steppes, of course, um, these sort of vast rivers and lakes. Um, it is uh, a, a, an extraordinary, um, undiscovered wilderness, really, in many ways, uh, populated by extremely welcoming and friendly people um, uh, who like a good time. So, you know, um, there's no reason ever to get bored here. Well, the marathon is now, I think, in its fifth year. The marathon is now its fifth year. Um, and, you know, it's a signature event, of course, for Astana. Um, the climate at this time of the year in Astana is absolutely perfect. Um, Astana is flat, of course, unlike Almaty, where we live, uh, which is in a mountainous region, so it's ideal for running. Um, Astana has developed um, on, you know, on, at an extraordinary pace um, and with some incredible architecture uh, over the last 10 years. Um, and so, you know, it's a fascinating city in any event. Uh, a marathon um, is, is a very signature high-profile event um, and, uh, you know, obviously we're delighted to be involved with it. Um, you know, I think, I think everybody in the, in the country as well realises um, the, the sort of value of, of, of promoting healthy lifestyle, uh, healthy lifestyles um, uh, uh, and, um, you know, an appreciation of nature. So it really um, is something that for, for a whole variety of reasons is, is, is something that we want to be involved in.